Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about how to create a moving screensaver on a Mac OS computer. A couple things to know in terms of constraints before we get started. You must be on Mac OS Sonoma or greater. And I've only tested this on Mac OS Sonoma 14.2 and 14.0 and 14.2.1. The essence of what we're doing here is we're taking an MOV file, we're putting it in the directory the moving screen savers come from, and we're naming it, we're renaming it with the existing name of a moving screen saver. So that's the workflow we're going to demonstrate today. Let's get started. Okay, so in this downloads directory, we can see this .mov file that I've pre-named with an existing Mac OS moving screen saver file. This footage was shot about a month ago by myself in the Valley of the Gods, Colorado Plateau. Okay, so we go to in Finder, we click Go, Library, Application Support. From there, we're gonna pick one of these four COM folders. So we're gonna switch to Columns, and then we're gonna choose the com.apple.id consumer and then the 4k SDR. After that, if you haven't downloaded any of the screensavers from Apple, you'll need to do that. So we open up system settings. You can click on wallpaper. I'm going to strategically place this window so you can see the files as they download in this directory we just drove to. So the California's Timbler range is the target of choice. So that's the one our pre-staged MOV file is already named as. And we're setting that toggle to show as screensaver and it's already defaulted to show in all spaces when we're in this wallpaper menu. So now that that's going, we can click a play on that and we'll see that it's playing just like it should be from Apple. So that's what we wanna see there. We'll go ahead and we'll download a couple more of these and wait for them to come in. And with the power of editing, this is gonna go a little faster than it will go for you if you're on a slower internet connection. That's the power of editing and right there, everything is going nice and fast. And we'll go ahead and open one of these with QuickTime just to demonstrate what they look like. So this is the drone flyover of the River Corridor and Grand Canyon National Park. Beautiful shot, and it's just a .mov file at a little over half a gigabyte. So there's our proof of concept. So now we're gonna go back to our downloads folder, and I'm gonna move the target file into this directory. The file itself came off my non-test computer, however, if you want this file, you can purchase it on my Patreon page, linked below. Alright, so we can see the original one there, and we can see in the target directory, and we can see the one we want to make it in the downloads directory. Now if you're doing this with your own .mov file, you will need to rename the file the as as one of these Apple file names for it to match. But in this case, we've already done that. So we're gonna move this one out and we've moved it to the desktop already. So now we can, we've got a copy of it there. So now we can just move it to the trash. We're gonna to have to authenticate to do that with an admin credential. So we got a test admin credential here, did that. Now that the old one's been deleted, we need to drag and drop the new one in, authenticate again, once that's done, the data is going to flow and we are ready for our next step. Okay, so data is flown and now we just go, we went and did download another one, but we're going to set this as the California uh, Timbor range. It's actually, it looks like Cabeza Prieta National Monument. And because I use the same file name for my MOV file, that's what we see on the desktop when we go to a clear window and then if we lock the desktop we should it should initiate the plane of this mov file now in my testing the smaller the files are the better so if 
you put in a 20 gigabit file, you're probably going to have a little more bugs. So stick with smaller than Apple or better than Apple. And here's this epic drone shot. This is a risk the drone shot because any mistake, you crash the drone, it's gone. And it's beautiful. Working like a charm. In any case, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.